special needs kids getting a boost from the iPad. We'll tell you how right here, right now on Digits. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. Joining on the set, we have Jessica Vassalero as co-host. Thank you very much for joining us. And also Thank Jennifer Valentino DeVries. Jen, let's start with you. How can the iPad help special needs kids? Well, a lot of what I was seeing um, in reporting on this story was that it was being used for speech therapy. So there are other uses as well, but a lot of people are able to have icons on the iPad that they can touch and it will speak the word for them. So this is for kids who might have trouble speaking because of muscular problems, but also kids who have trouble, you know, they can speak the words, but they have difficulty have kind of yes with no sentences. Example. Explain that. Sorry. Yeah, there was one little girl, I spoke with her mother and uh, you know, before getting the iPad, therapists had told her mom that they thought yes and no questions were too advanced for her. And uh, that was just because, you know, she has muscular problems and couldn't articulate, you know, what she was thinking. But after she got the iPad and she's been working with it, she is able to, you know, move her arm a bit to indicate the words that she's wanting to speak. And, you know, she can identify colors and ask to go outside and play and, and things like that. So. Now, is this just for the iPad? I mean, obviously, this is probably their software developers who are building these tools, and are they building them for other devices? Well, you know, it actually started with earlier touchscreen devices. I mean, the iPod Touch and the iPhone and, you know, other devices, even Windows Mobile. But the difference with the iPad, really, is the... Um, a lot of times kids who have these difficulties also have trouble sort of navigating the very small screen of those other devices. So it's really tablet computers and people I spoke with also said that they're um, looking at developing such software and products for other tablets as they're coming out, like ones that are on Android and so forth. But you know, for right now, Apple's been ahead of the game in that. Now, so. you didn't just speak with anyone um, when, you, when you spoke with this. You talked with someone extra special. Tell us about that. Well, you know, Honestly, I thought all the people I talked with were extra yeah. special, but yeah. um, the person you're talking about, is Steve Jobs, actually at Apple, is um, he's personally just really interested by this, and I spoke with him. He's gotten a lot of emails from parents, and uh, he said he hadn't, you know, worked with uh, autistic kids um, himself, but just that the emails from parents really touched him as a parent he actually said to me that you know having kids is like when you have kids it's like your heart is walking around outside your body and he's really very moved by a lot of this stuff so I mean, it's interesting it reminds me there's a lot of attention now over using tablets for all sorts of learning and mm -hmm. classroom learning and learning for special needs kids and um, you know did, was that a theme that came up at all like sort of use cases outside some of these disabilities but yeah, yeah, I think this is something that people are really taking to um, just the fact that there's a lot of computing power here, but it's so portable and it's a good size for learning that's kind of bridging the, uh, the gap between PCs and, you know, mobile. Now, there are other devices mobiles. out there that sort of pr predate the iPad, but there are some, there are some issues for some people getting, getting hold of them. Can you explain why? Right, so there are um, speech devices that have been around for a while that are for, they tend to be for people who really have more difficulty even than the, the people who are using the iPad. Um, but the issue with those is they're very expensive. I mean, we're talking seven, eight thousand dollars. Versus and, a few hundred for right, an iPad. Yeah. Right. And you know, Which Medicare so right. Medicare does cover those and it won't cover the iPad because I mean you can imagine what might happen if, if Medicare covered the iPad, how many people you would have asking for it. But um, you know there are other issues with that that mm -hmm. some parents think um, make it tougher for their kids to start using them. They're a little bulkier and, and some of the parents I spoke with said, you know, those are really identified as devices for uh, disabled people and they're sort of stigmatizing whereas the iPad is seen as a little cooler, really. But, okay. you know, they are out there. So. Great stuff and obviously the more, more of the story on WSJ.com right now. Thank you very much, Jennifer.